Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. So you have the brothers and sisters in Trinidad that wants the street names changed because the governor that used to be there was a very, very brutal slave owner by the name of Sir Thomas Picton. Now Picton himself, Sir Thomas Picton, is say was made governor of the island. It say for and when he was made governor of that island, they said for the next five years he held the island. He said with a garrison he considered inadequate against the threats of internal unrest and of reconquest by the Spanish. It say he ensured order by vigorous action. He say he viewed is a various it say as rough and ready justice and arbitrary brutality. Now Picton was also accused of the execution of dozens of African slaves. They say and the trade in slavery you say was partly behind his considerable fortune. So he made a lot of money off of trading slaves from Africa. Now historian Chris Evans at the time, he said delinquents and say who was sent for immediate execution might consider themselves lucky. Others had to endure mutilation and torture. This is the guy that was running Trinidad and how they was treating the brothers and sisters over there. Now I say by then there's a reports of, um, his brutality associated with the governorship had led to a demand at home, which is back in Britain for his removal. Now Picton was making money from speculation in land and slaves. And he had a black wife where at that time they would consider her a mulatto or the mother of his four children. Now her name was Rosetta Smith. Now this woman was definitely a trip. She would be definitely a certified what somebody would call today a bed wench. And let me explain to you why it says she was believed to be corruptly influencing his decisions and said because of her association with Picton says Smith was often vilified by his detractors that Picton is a, though a competent military officer ruled through fear and brutality as after torturing a 14 year old girl by picketing her and say for theft in 1801 and say he was removed as governor of Trinidad in 1803 and returned to England to stand trial. Now the main accuser of Picton is say it was William Fullerton and say who had been appointed as part of the commission to look into the running of Trinidad. Now Fullerton and the, uh, P Pierre McCallum widely reported that Smith and say was the instigator of Picton's cruelty, putting forth the view that the governor was under her influence in his report. Fullerton accused Picton and Smith of jailing, punishing and starving maroons and runaways to say for petty offenses and then conducting clandestine sales of them to friends for minimal purchase prices. So you have a black woman cause she was black. She was half black, half French actually. And she was helping her, you know, slave owning, you know, white husband do this to African people. Yeah, that's what she was doing. It had no problem with it. She was heavily involved in all that. Now they said in actuality, they said the two, they're talking about both of them, uh, Smith and Picton. It said the two had a contract with Antonio Valencia. It said an operative, it said the intendant of Caracas, it said who used his cover as an international slave catcher to conduct surveillance on the British. Now they said Pictoning, it says a form of torture in which the victim has one arm tied by a restraint that runs through a pulley connected to the ceiling while the other arm is tied tightly to one of the feet that is forcibly bent upward at the knee. The remaining foot is then positioned so that the toe rests on a spiked piece of wood as the weight of the whole body is lowered onto it. Now used frequently by the British army, Pictoning, they say it was not designed to permanently injure or maim and saying the wood spike was not sharp enough to break the skin. However, the suspending a person's entire body weight and say on such a small surface and say the victim was 
suffer severe pain. Now, the one he really got in trouble with was Louisa Calderon. That's the one he really got in trouble with, the 14-year-old that was accused of stealing. He did that to her for 24 hours straight, ladies and gentlemen. He did that to her. And yet, this is the man that has his name on streets and buildings in Trinidad. Now, the brothers and sisters said that they want to remove his name off of everything, and they want to replace his name with heroes of Trinidad and Tobago, which I support that 100%. In the Caribbean, these people, you know, like I said, they did the most in there. They said that when, if a person was caught eating a sugar cane, they'd get tortured. Because, you know, they had a lot of sugar cane plantations out in the Caribbean. This dude did things to people that was horrible. We, you know, as people that dealt with slavery, you know, those of you especially who have control of your countries, because I'm a black American, we're not in control of anything here, but those of you who are in control in Trinidad, change those names. It's disrespectful to your ancestors to have those names out there like that. Picton, really? That guy? The guy that tortured everybody? You want to have his name all over the place? Seriously? Now, a lot of it, of course, is a lack of education because they don't like to really teach this history, you know, in America. And I know this, this history isn't taught everywhere else either, unless, you know, certain people are into the history. But this is disrespectful to the black people of Trinidad. It is disrespectful. Take that man's name off of that and throw that man's name in the trash. Anything about him, throw it in the trash. This ain't got some apartment buildings with that name picked in on it. Like, really? Y'all naming apartment buildings, y'all naming government buildings, y'all naming streets after a, a, a torturous slave owner with a bed wench wife that was helping traffic Africans into Trinidad as well. The history of this European is extremely dark and evil. And this is why he don't like it being talked about. This is why in America he talks about critical race theory. And so-called critical race theory is just teaching their history back to them. That's all it is. That's all it is. You can't hide the history of, of the world. You can't hide that. There's no law that you can write down to hide your history. It's there. Why aren't you proud of your history? Why aren't you proud? It's been so much a long time ago. Don't matter. What you did a long time ago is still affecting black people today. What, what, what Picton did to, to the black people in Trinidad is still affecting them today. It is. What the British done because he came from Britain and he was attached to them. They owe reparations to the people of Trinidad. They owe. And if you want to keep it real, they owe reparations to us too. Because we was enslaved under the British first before it became the quote unquote Americans. So the British owe, owe some reparations to everybody. Just if you want to keep it 100, they owe it to the Caribbean. They owe it to black America. They owe it to the Afro Latinos. They owe it to even the Africans as well. The British, yes, for the colonization that they've done to them. They owe. They sure do owe. Because you study colonization and some of the things they were done, especially what happened in Kenya, and some of the, you know what I'm saying, some of the torture that happened there. Jesus Christ. These people was, was, was Eve all over the place. They owe, they owe reparations in India. They owe reparations to Hong Kong. They owe, they owe all over the place, trust me. They built a whole empire off of slavery and colonization of non-white people. Which I'll let you know think about this Sir Thomas Picton guy. Because like I say, he, he was just an evil devil. He was evil. He was evil to the core. And the people in, in Trinidad, you need to demand your government to remove that evil bastard off of buildings and streets. He don't deserve any recognition in Trinidad. Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved AfricanDiasporaNews.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.